This is the David Lloyd Tennis School at Intusport.com. In this guide, we'll show you the double-handed backhand. Some people prefer to hit a backhand with one hand on the racket, and others prefer two. It really doesn't matter which you choose, it's whichever you feel most comfortable and natural with. If you do choose to hit your backhand with two hands, you'll still hit a slice backhand and backhand volleys with only one hand on the racket. Let's start with the grip. To get a grip that's comfortable for you, start by holding the racket so that the edge of the racket is pointing at the ground and then put your dominant hand in a single-handed backhand grip at the bottom of the handle. This is the grip that you'll use for slice backhands. Now place your other hand above it in a comfortable position. The position of this top hand can vary a little. Some players hit the ball with their arms straight so their top hand will rotate a little towards their thumb. But if you hit the ball with your arm slightly bent, then the top hand will probably rotate a little towards your fingers. Whichever way you hold the racket with your top hand though, make sure your hands are close together so that they can work as a single unit. Now to the technique. Start in a ready position with your knees bent, your weight on the balls of your feet and the racket held out in front. Watch the ball closely as it leaves your opponent and begin to adjust your position. First, turn your hips and shoulders slightly so that your weight begins to move in the right direction. Then begin to adjust your feet and move to a position that allows you to make contact with the ball to the side and in front of you at about waist height. When you're in the right position, adjust your grip so that both hands are in the right place on the handle. Then rotate your hips and shoulders so that you're sideways and slightly behind the incoming ball. Now you're ready to play the shot. Begin to take the racket back and have your weight on your back foot. The forward swing of the racket should move in a low to high swing path, so the racket head will begin below the height of the contact point with the ball. Straighten your knees as you hit the ball and transfer your weight smoothly from your back to your front foot. Hit the ball when it's to the side and in front of you at about waist height. The distance away from your body will vary according to whether you hit the ball with your elbows bent or with your arms straight. In general terms, female players usually hit a two-handed backhand with their elbows bent and the contact point closer to their body, while male players usually have their arms straight at contact with the ball further away from them. After contact, keep the racket moving forwards before bringing it across the body as it slows down. Then move quickly to a good position on or around the baseline and be ready for the next shot. So that's the double-handed backhand. Let's recap. First of all, make sure your hands are in the best position for you and that your hands are together and working as a unit. Watch the ball as it leaves your opponent and begin to move towards where it will bounce. Turn your hips and shoulders to start your movement to the ball. Adjust to the ball and rotate into a sideways position so you can contact it to the side and slightly in front of you. Take the racket back either straight or in a slight loop. Hit the ball at about waist height at a comfortable distance from you, depending on your grip. Follow through in front before bringing the racket across your body. Then move quickly to a good position and get ready for the next shot. So now you have the technique for the double-handed backhand mastered. Make sure you watch the practice drills, playing tips and fitness advice at intosport.com. Intosport.com, the home of world-class sports coaching online.